All right, today I am out in Coolgardie, north of Barstow, and uh, I decided to start a fresh hole and see how it goes, uh, rather than digging where we were last time. Hopefully the wind's not too uh, much of a nuisance here on the video. Give me a quick view here. Now, I started digging a little bit just to see what the soil looked like, and I thought this was interesting. I don't know if it'll show up or not, but there is a lot of mineralization here. Black sand, red, yellow, orange. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're going to find out real quick. The um, first couple of feet are going to be kind of wet because um, it's been raining not too long ago. Uh, so if I run any of this, it's going to have to be uh, ran a few times to dry out. Uh, but I'm kind of curious. I'm going to run things in layers this time. Uh, hopefully find uh, which layer has the best stuff in it uh, rather than just digging and, and throwing it all in the mix. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to get some food in me and then uh, get at it. All right, belly filled and dry wash set up. I uh, am not going to be able to run this stuff through the dry washer. It's just too wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pan a big fat pan out and see what it looks like. See if it's worth uh, breaking up and scattering out to dry. We'll see. Look at all the mineralization in here. I hope this shows up. It's just crazy. Look at that. I don't know. Could be nothing. We're going to find out. Well, all I got was one little piece of flour in that mess. But it did uh, it did muddy up my water pretty good, which is uh, it's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully Laura brings some uh, water tomorrow. I only have so much. Alright, I got a wee bit of a hole started here. Unfortunately, all I've gotten so far is very, very fine flour. Um, let's see here. That's about what I've dug so far. Give you an idea here. Um, I expected a little more. This stuff's very hard to dig in. And there are rocks, as you can see. But uh, I'll give you an idea here. Nice and hard. It, uh, it appears to be mostly decomposed granite. Um, I have no doubt if I dig further I'm going to hit something better, but I think we'll go ahead and pack it up and uh, go back to where we were planning on digging originally. I got this out of my system. I feel better now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's getting dark. Well, not quite yet. I think I've got about an hour. Some more around there. Kind of pretty, huh? But I've got a few more days. I don't want to dig uh, in a bad spot for two more days. No bueno. All right, I was invited to uh, dig here on this claim with these guys in the morning. So we'll see how it goes. They did really good today. I was impressed. So uh, I'm hopeful. We'll see how it goes. It's getting dark. I'm gonna call it a night. There you go. Yeah, see, nice and dark out here. Not exactly roughing it here. Yeah. Gonna have a good breakfast tomorrow. Got my grill set up and everything. My only complaint, I forgot my pillow. I've gotten pretty spoiled with that pillow. <laughs> anyway, time to get a fire going and some food in the belly and uh, some gold tomorrow for sure. Alright, I haven't been recording because I've been digging on somebody else's claim, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys what my first four buckets look like here. Just uh, pan them out real quick out of curiosity. Hopefully it shows up on the camera. I can't see too well. There we go. But yeah, four buckets. Not too bad. I'm going to go hit it hard. I only have until about two when he leaves. I'm then going to find a new spot after that. So I wanted to show you guys my 18 buckets worth of gold here. Um, we're going to get at it again today, hopefully it'll be a little bit better, but I'm still happy to have some gold in here. It's kind of nice. But yeah, not too bad. I mean, a lot of it was overburden. The rule in the hole is you got to take the good with the bad. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how the day goes.
Anyway, that was five buckets uh, I had to run. Hopefully you guys can hear this. It's incredibly windy out here. Uh, I had to run the stinking things like four times because everything's wet, so it's a lot of work. I uh, will show you where I was digging. I was digging in some red stuff. I'm going to move over to the white stuff and do a five bucket sample there and kind of make a determination where we're going to be digging. And uh, I'm hoping the white stuff's a little bit nicer. We'll see. All right. This is the red stuff. I've been picking at it for a while. Um, that was the five buckets that I ran. I've been uh, knocking it down here, using that guy to smash it out, and then filling the buckets up. If you go over here, see how it starts turning white? This stuff, well, let's start the red. Looks a lot more like crushed quartz with a lot of black sand in it when you get it uh, in the pan and start running it. Uh, this stuff is more of a clay and there's actually a little bit of gravel in it. If you can see right there. All right, there we go. There's a couple of rocks. There's a couple there. Uh, I'm a little more hopeful on this area here. I think this is probably where we were getting the bulk of our gold last time. Um, and you can see it meets up right here with the bedrock. Bedrock's right here. So yeah. We'll see, I've already started chipping some of it away. Got a little bit down here. And uh, I'm gonna fill up five buckets real quick and make a run and see how it looks. You can see there's a couple of rocks here. Which we weren't getting any other stuff. This stuff's not easy to dig in at all. I'm missing my jackhammer. Should have brought it with me. Imagine doing this all day long. Those old timers are crazy. Those guys must have been in great shape. to get at this layer with the gravel. It's kind of hard to get in here. I might have to remove the top. Man. All right, well, that's about one bucket, so I'm going to smash it up. All right, I got my five buckets. And the great thing, it's dry, or relatively dry. I don't think I need to run it like four times. I was trying to show in a, a little bit earlier video here that when you uh, take it and clump it up like this and open your hand and it's still clumped up, you need to run it a few more times until it stops doing that. I was told that uh, yesterday by one of the prospectors up here. And uh, it does seem to work pretty good. I'll show you what I've got here. So, I dug pretty much this layer 
all up in here. And I got a fair amount of rocks, which is great. It's not a much of big rounded river rock. Uh, most of it seems to be kind of uh, some kind of agate or something. Not really sure what it is, but uh, this is what I got out right there. So yeah, I'm hopeful. This is the biggest rock I've seen over here yet. If it'll show up, this is the the rock that we're getting out of here. It's almost like a quartz, very shiny inside. I don't know. I have no idea what it is. Well, the verdict is in five buckets and I got two little specks and for good safe measures I ran it twice so uh, I guess we're gonna be digging in that red stuff after all it's pretty sad <laughs> okay I ran uh, half a bucket I just wanted to show this real quick this is what I was talking about earlier this stuff is really wet and uh, I'm catching everything off the back of the sleuth the back of the dry wash here this is one run Right here, see, it's still clumping together. I'm gonna have to run it like four times until it doesn't do that anymore. Seems about four times, uh, but yeah, just wanted to share that. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this guy back up again. I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm going through my um, classifier here. Yeah, look at that bad boy right there. Let's see if I can get it out. Wouldn't it be nice if there was two in here, huh? Yeah, that's probably the biggest picker I've gotten up here so far. Wow. This is how you rough it when you're camping. You have to flip your bacon with a spatula. Yep. <laughs> uh, gonna be a good day today. I can feel it. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, been standing over there babying this thing like Laura's doing over there. And then I realized I could just dump a whole bunch of dirt up in this beast. Let it feed itself for a little while and sit down. Yeah chill for a little while. Doesn't get any better than this. Alright, this would be the first uh, five gallons of run here. Um, I kind of like this guy right here. It's kind of pretty. I don't know how close that's going to be. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. There we go. So yeah, um, two of the buckets that I ran were just straight dirt. I was trying to get them out of the way. So this is I mean, I, I can't say it's three buckets, but I'm considering it three buckets because two buckets were just complete garbage. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. What do you think? Quick and dirty way to cook lunch or what? We'll see how it goes. Looks like it's working.
right, there's my gold from my whopping eight buckets. That's all I ran today. Not quite enough buckets. But uh, I do like uh, that little guy. It's kind of cool. But yeah. Where are you going, little dude? <laughs> Look at that. I wonder if Why I can... me? Oh, he just went around the back. I was trying to zoom in so I could see him. Look at that little dude. He's kind of cute, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, it's about 6 a.m. I just got everything set up. I'm gonna go ahead and get an early start. Uh, my friend Laura is leaving early, so we're gonna be packing it up early afternoon. I'm gonna try and get like five or 10 buckets ran um, before we get out of here. Like I said earlier, it's, uh, it's a little time consuming to run buckets. Uh, gotta run them like four times to dry everything off, so five buckets turns into running 20. Uh, I think I've run about 41 and a half total uh, for the last three days. Not quite as many as I was hoping for, but uh, not too bad, I guess, considering. I'm going to continue digging here. I'm going to get uh, as much as I can and run it through and uh, hope for the best. The sun hasn't uh, quite decided to peak up yet. So hopefully it does soon. It'll be nice and warm. All right, wish me luck. All right, I got three buckets in and I uh, realized I forgot to bring some water so I have to go back to camp and get some water real quick. But I figured I'd give you guys a quick view of the area. It's a nice morning. Yeah, that's about it. It's pretty out here. Well, I went back for water and got hungry and decided to make a breakfast. I sure am not going to be starving today. <laughs> Might as well do it right. And I take advantage of, uh, you know, having some luxury here. This is the second, uh, first run on this stuff. You can see how wet it still is. Having to run it four times still. I would have recorded a little more, but uh, it's kind of boring just watching me sit here, watch this thing, and feed it. Got quite a little telling pile going here. Okay, so I've got another uh, two and a half buckets in. I have to get out of here because Laura took off. Um, but there's uh, there's my concentrates. Hopefully there's some good pickers in there. We'll see. There's uh, my tellings pile. Looks like the Sahara over here. Look at that. Just ultra fine. And then these are all the uh, rocks and uh, caliche that didn't get crushed up. So I'm going to run my detector over that real quick just to make sure there's nothing substantial in there. Uh, ran into a guy yesterday who came up here. He owns about 360 acres of land up here. Uh, big time prospector. And uh, he was giving me some advice on this. He was saying that uh, if you take uh, the last couple of riffles on the bottom here and fold some screen over, maybe 20 mesh or so, it will do a really good job of collecting the, uh, the really, fine sand, uh, really fine gold. Uh, makes sense. I, I tend to find a lot of black sand down here. Um, I'm sure this thing loses a lot of fine gold no matter what. But uh, it might be something to look into if you're looking to mod your, your uh, dry washer at all. It's definitely worth a shot. Um, also, he suggested putting an electric motor down on the bottom to agitate it a little bit better. But before I get over here and do my cleanup, I wanted to show this. I don't know if it's going to be visible. But that white looking mountain right there, dead center, that's Opal Mountain. I was told there's some good fire opal over there. Uh, I'm going to have to check that out on another trip uh, to give you an idea of where it is. Um, that is Red Mountain right there, that peak. Uh, that's right near uh, Ramsburg and Johannesburg. So I think you can probably get over there from that side a little bit easier than this side. Uh, this side you're gonna have to go down probably a, I don't know, hour long drive down a dirt road. Doesn't sound like a lot of fun. 
So anyway, I'm going to do a cleanup and uh, see how it goes. It. All right, there's my uh, clean out from five and a half buckets. I was hoping for a little more, but uh, you can't always get pickers. So I got to get out of here, um, go pack my stuff up. I'll try to get a picture of the, uh, the final, final clean out here in a little bit. Uh, I might go do some metal detecting. I'm still debating on that. I heard there was a good spot up over here somewhere. If I can get over there, we'll see. Okay, so there's my final clean out for the weekend. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Uh, I didn't work as hard as I should have, but there's always next time, right? Uh, running everything four times really slowed things down. So maybe if I don't have to run everything four times next time I'm up here, I'll be able to run a lot more material. But uh, yeah, it's pretty. Look at it. I like it.